Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl Review, Switch It's always difficult to know just how much of a game to change when you're remaking it, and that is certainly true when it comes to the insanely popular Pokemon series. Go too far, and you risk alienating the audience, as was evident with the enjoyable but somewhat simplified Let's Go! Pikachu and Eevee Switch remakes of the original Pokemon Red and Blue. If you manage to combine the elements that have advanced the formula in the years since, though, you can create some of the very best games in the franchise, as was the case with Heart Gold and Soul Silver on DS. Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl fall somewhere in the middle, a pair of titles that offers a great opportunity to pick up some of the Sinnoh decks that is missing from the current mainline Sword and Shield games, but ultimately an adventure you probably won't return to once you're done. There's a strange feeling of obligation to these remakes. Generation 1 2 and 3 have all received stellar reimaginings, and Generation 4 felt like the odd one out. However, instead of a Game Freak helmed remake and love letter to the generation, Ilka, the studio handling Pokémon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, has changed the art style for the worse and failed to include many elements from the generation's best game, Pokémon Platinum. Pokémon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl feature a 3D chibi art style for their overworld, making all characters look like emotionless Funko Pops, and it was a real mistake. While battles have arguably never looked better, with some incredible arenas and backgrounds for your Pokémon to compete in, the overworld looks cheap in comparison. It also robs some NPCs, who were intimidating and serious in the original 2D games, of their tone completely. Why should we take this big antagonist seriously when he looks just as, unthreatening as any other trainer? Every character you battle has a full-sized model resembling the style adopted in Sword and Shield, and they uniformly look so much better than the chibi, toy-like models that cover the overworld. This really makes us wish that they'd retain the overworld scale of the previous Nintendo Switch games, rather than attempt to transport the squat 2D sprites of the original game into a full 3D world. While the art style underwhelms, the music, however, is excellent. The Sinnoh games were home to some of the best themes in Pokémon history, and they've been lovingly remastered here. There's a great atmosphere to the entire region, you really get the sense that it's a lived-in environment built around the imposing Mount Coronet. In a smart move, during battles in the wild, you'll often see the shadow of Coronet looming in the background, making the battles feel much more like they're playing out in the world, rather than in some cordoned-off area.